Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Let's pray for divine retreats and as some must be. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the divine retreats and as some must be. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions, and let your Holy Spirit rest upon. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defend. Save us, O Lord our God. Gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name. Make our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. With your spirit. As we celebrate this Eucharist, let us remember our parents. If there is anyone passed away from this world, we pray for the repose of their soul. And living all of them, we pray for their health, body, mind, and soul, offering unto the Lord, and asking the Lord to touch and heal them, Fill them with love and joy. Brethren, let's acknowledge our sins, asking the Lord forgiveness and pardon, and to make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for the readings. First reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. What you have come to is nothing known to the senses, not a blazing fire or a gloom turning to total darkness, or a storm or trumpeting thunder or the great voice speaking which made everyone that heard, it begged that no more should be said to them. The whole scene was so terrible that Moses said, I'm afraid, and was trembling with fright but what you have come to is Mount Zion and the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem where the millions of angels have gathered for the festival. With the whole church in which everyone is a firstborn son and a citizen of heaven. You have come to God himself, the supreme judge. And being placed with spirits of the saints have been made perfect and to Jesus, the mediator, who brings a new covenant and a blood for purification, which pleads more in, insistently than Abel's. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. God, in your temple, we ponder your love. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised 
in the city of our God, his holy mountain raises in beauty the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city, God in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth with justice. Your right hand is filled. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is near. Believe the good news. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus made a tour around the villages, teaching. Then he summoned the twelve and began to send them out in pairs, giving them authority over the unclean spirits. And he instructed them to take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bread, no haversack, no culpers, or their purses. <clears throat> they were to wear sandals, but he added, do not take a spare tunic. And he said to them, if you enter a house anyway, stay there until you leave the district. And if any place does not welcome you and people refuse to listen to you, as you walk away, shake off the dust from under your feet as a sign to them. So they set off to preach repentance. And they cast out many devils and anointed many sick, sick people with oil and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Lord is imparting some light into our witnessing. We are all called to be witnesses of Christ. And today in the gospel, especially, they set out to preach repentance. Repentance was the good news that Jesus wanted to sp uh, spread everywhere to the people. The Lord is merciful. Come back to him and he will embrace you. That's the good news. Jesus wanted everyone to listen to and change their heart. And in that process of spreading that good news to the people, Jesus was commanding, giving them instruction to the disciples or whoever is going to spread that good news. He says, minimum of you and maximum of God. Minimum of you and maximum of God. That is where he says, do not take anything with you. No purse, no money. You can take a staff, but no spare tunic. Meaning, take a less luggage with you that bothers you so much, a luggage of the world, but take more of God. Because you're going to do things for God. You're going to preach for God. You're going to live for God. So believe in the providence of God and he will provide you. In later one stage, when they all come back, Jesus is asking, me, asking them, did you lack anything? They're saying no. We didn't lack anything. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, today as we go into our life, the day-to-day -day things that we do, and sometimes even those things unexpected taking place in our life, in all those moments, one thing today the Lord is asking, believe in the providence of God because you're not living for yourself here on the earth, but you're living for God to be witness of Him. To be witness of Him. So dear brothers and sisters, let us increase, ask the Lord that, that, that uh, grace to be 
grace and strength to have more strength of our faith in the providence of God that our heavenly father will provide for us whatever we need this day we are not looking into the future and being anxious about who is going to give these things to me no the lord is saying the lord will provide you with whatever you need this moment that is his promise so let us believe in that promise surrendering ourselves unto him and trusting in the providence of god let us move ahead let us hold on fast to our faith and to our heavenly father surrendering everything on the way of this day let us pray god our heavenly father today your children we ask of you this grace to trust in your providence strengthen that trust in your providence so that so that we never lose heart we are never anxious but enjoy your hand with us all the time and we feel secure and safe in your mighty hands we make our prayer through Christ our lord Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine work of human hands it will become a spiritual drink blessed be God forever with a humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you O Lord may this is the time of this day in the sight of the risen king Lord God all our shining beauty and goodness Pray brethren that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church oh lord we bring to your altar these offerings of our service be pleased to receive them we pray and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through christ our lord The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. and is coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you 
and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and anthony our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph our spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased to you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always so let's offer each other sign of peace lamb of god take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy lamb of god you take away the sins of the world Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed all those who are not able to go to church physically 
and receive the Lord today. It's your time of spiritual communion. We say this prayer, inviting the Lord into our heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ, keep us all safe for eternal life. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Dear brothers and sisters, just a few reminders. Tomorrow being the first Friday and having a first Friday service in the evening 6 to 8.30, we will not be having the morning Holy Mass online. So 8 o'clock morning Mass won't be there tomorrow, first Friday. And there, tomorrow evening, since there is the service, won't be online adoration at 9 p.m. But the service eight, uh, 6 to 8.30 will be online streamed on YouTube and Facebook. And tomorrow, day after tomorrow, first Saturday, uh, there will be Mass in the morning, but evening there won't be adoration since we have the youth service here. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. you. May the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest,
Keep your unearthly their hearts sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from all sin. Bless their labors, <coughs> their food, and may the souls to whom they are ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the Virgin, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Thank mm-hmm. you.